Hello there guys and welcome to this very fun episode of the Final Cut Express slash Pro tutorial series. Um, today we're going to talk about more about the audio in your videos instead of um, the actual picture because audio is just as important as the picture. Um, and today we're uh, going to talk specifically about um, cancelling out background noise. Uh, I know um, if you guys are familiar with um, Final Cut Studio, um, you probably guys have Soundtrack Pro and if you guys know Soundtrack Pro um, one of the uh, very famous features in that is that cancellation of background noise um, simply by selecting a piece of the background clip or background audio and then just canceling that out um, with a very um, or automatic process. Uh, however, what mo uh, many people don't know is that you can actually do this in uh, Final Cut Express or um, Pro. Uh, it's just a very um, much more manual process. So today we're going to take you guys on a little bit of a tour of how to do that and whatnot. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is let's just take a listen so you guys can have a little bit of a, of a reference point. Simon, take three, action. Now if you guys can hear that, it's very subtle and um, it's not, you know, too loud, but you know, we can hear a little bit of a rumble in the background. That might have just been some, some stuff in the street or possibly electricity or plumbing, you know, who knows what. So we're going to select that audio clip, come up here to effects, audio filters, apple, then we can come down here to where it says graphic EQ. Now, if we come over to your, uh, come over here to our filters tab, we can see here is all the frequencies that are um, pretty much ever exist. Um, at least you know the broad range of them. Um, the lower numbers are more of the lower, um, lower, deeper sounds, and the higher numbers are more of the uh, higher sounds. See, if I were to bring this up, uh, bring more of these higher frequencies up, we, uh, we can see it kind of sounds almost like static. Simon. See, so, yeah, it's kind of got that very high pitch, very kind of. Sort of sound. Take three, action. Now, um, so we, let's just bring that back down to zero, pretty much. Um, yeah. So now that's um that's all done. Uh, we're gonna come over to filters, and we're gonna come down here to where the more of the lower frequencies are. So let's um bring these down to about maybe negative ten-ish. You know, just these first few, and let's um listen. Simon, take three, action. Now if we, uh, we can hear it, it uh, sounds very nice and very clean, uh, we don't get much of that rumble. So if we see like, um, here is a uh, before. Simon, take three, action. And now here is an after. Simon, take three, action. Now I don't know if you guys can hear this on your computers, but through my headphones I can definitely hear a big difference between these two. Um, so if you guys can't hear it, <laughs> you just gotta trust me, it does work. Um, but if you guys want to go the extra mile and try to preserve more of the, um, more of the audio, what, what you can do is you can kind of, um, you know, it's going to be a, a lot more manual process, but we can go through each individual one and try to see which ones affect um, the uh, low buzz or not. So I just changed these lower two to a zero, and let's give it a listen. Simon, take three. Alright, that still sounds uh, pretty good, so let's go here and do these two more. Simon. I can I can hear a little bit of it, so I'm gonna change uh, this one back down to about ten-ish. So let's listen one more time. Simon, I still hear a little bit, so maybe you know, let's bring this one to about maybe six. Simon, now that sounds very nice and clean. Take three action. If you guys want to hear our final product, Simon, take three action. And that's pretty much what it is. Um, this is very close results to what you can do over in Soundtrack Pro. Just, you know, it's a little bit more of a uh, manual process. Um, well, if you guys like this tutorial, please subscribe because I'm making a um, new one of these every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and occasionally on the weekends. Um, tell me how, um, if you guys like this tutorial with the uh, more of the audio stuff. I know I usually do video, um, but I know it's kind of a fun change to do some more audio stuff. Um, there's a wide range of different effects in, uh, for Final Cut Express. Um, as, long, um, as well as some different pl um, plugins to do. And, uh, you know, it's not um, just correction, you know, you need to um, add some pretty neat styles, uh, just like color correction to your videos, you know, you know, you can add some different audio filters. So, I hope to see you guys on Wednesday. Um, I got a pretty cool video talking about my setup and um, how I make videos pretty much in general. So, I hope to see you guys around then, and I will see you, yeah, then. <laughs> um, bye, guys.